What's up, you two? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to episode 16 of our Pokemon Ultrasun Wonderlock. Last time, um, we made our first mistake. Um, last time, we took on our fourth grand or our fourth trial. Not grand trial. I keep calling it grand trial. We took on our fourth trial, and uh, we made a mistake training up for it. Lost our first mon. Uh, in today's episode, we're gonna make our way towards Olivia's grand trial. I doubt we'll get all the way there today, uh, but we will certainly. Make some progress towards that. If you're enjoying Ultra Sun Wonderlock, hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, whatever we wind up talking about. You can let me know about Community Day. There we go. I just got home from Pokemon Go Community Day to break the fourth wall. So, like, putting up Pokemon Go right now, I'm not really going to be paying it too much attention because I just played for four hours. Whoa! You saw nothing. I just played it for four hours outside. Ah! Everything is falling apart. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Uh, anyway. I just played it for four hours outside, and I'm kind of uh, a bit worn out. But I do see a shiny chance. No. Speaking of shiny chance, before we get to it, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. I'm going to click shiny. And I'm going to change it to recent. Boom. Nine of them things. Two of them that we evolved all the way. Not bad. 82% IV, not bad. And then the big guy, our biggest that we have, the 96%. Yeah, yeah. Look at those candies. Still a thousand candies left over. Crazy. All right. <clears throat> Let's get to it. Um, let's do a team recap first. Oh, I don't even have a 16 member yet. Um, first up, we have our Japanese tour cat. Definitely the star of the last episode. Definitely the star of the last episode. Our Japanese tour cat, Fire Fang, Ember Bite, Fake Out, Intimidate, Fire EMZ. Then we have uh, Curlia from Mr. Death with Confusion, Disarming Voice, Magic Relief, Double Team, Trace, Expert Belt. Anna, the Milotic, Water Pulse, Dragon Pulse, Disarming Voice, Hypnosis, Cute Charm, and Water EMZ. We have our Japanese Pinsir, Brick Break, Double Hit, Revenge, Focus Energy, Hyper Cutter, and Phytinium Z. And we have our Japanese Servine, Leaf Tornado, Vine Whip, Glare, and Mirror Coat for a certain Pokemon in the late game, Overgrow and Miracle Seed. And that's it. Now, what we're going to do right now, right this second, is I'm going to turn back around because we need to add a member to the team. And it's going to be up to me who we add... Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, I was thinking about who I wanted to add, and I think it's very obvious. <clears throat> Ooh, I forgot I had a Lycan Rock. Okay, hold on. Weavile would be good against Ground. Would be good against Psychic, Ghost. Ooh, I kind of like that. Psychic, Ghost. Okay, hold on. I think that I think that makes our decision. Because we have, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here, and then I'm gonna reorganize my box because it would bug me. You know, going into community day, I was I was saying that I wanted ten. Uh, oh, also the game audio should be much better than it was last time. Anyway, um, going into community day, I was telling myself I wanted ten shinies just because ten is a nice round number. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I wound up getting. Ooh. Oh, anyway, I wound up getting. Actually, you know what? I don't even want these. What, what is it doing? I just want eight. Thank you. Anyway, um, I, wind, I wound up getting nine shinies, which is much better for my OCD, because ten shinies would not have looked good, because I would have been one on another line, and we just, we just can't have that. Now, if you recall, we actually said that our first goal for this episode was going to be to take on this trainer down here. I'm actually going to put you in front... Sneasel's gonna gain some experience from this battle, and I really just hope we don't lose another Pokemon. We're gonna talk to this guy. So you were able to feed everybody on Route 5 at least, huh? Then I'll give you a little trial of my own. You think you're ready to take on my little trial? I've got a Z Power Ring myself, as you can see. I'd be happy to. I heard that the latest batch of trial goers are a feisty lot. I've been looking forward to this. This old trial guy's little trial is about to start. 
What Z what Z, what Z what Z move should I be expecting from this? Slowpoke. So it's either gonna be a psychic Z move or a water Z move. I'm gonna switch into Servine. I'm gonna switch into Servine. Or I could switch into Curlia. I don't know if uh, I'm gonna switch into Servine. Oh, you know what I should do? I should hit Mirror Coat on his, uh, predicting that he's about to water gun. Okay, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Hit you with this Leaf Tornado. I was scared of this trainer, because I remember when I first fought him, when I played through this game, I very specifically remember that he was challenging, uh, in that... I challenged him the first time I went through this route when I was going towards Lana's trial. And I wound up, I think I wound up, I don't think I lost. I might have lost. Mega Drain. I'll do Mega Drain. Right? Mega Drain is 40. Vine Whip is 45. Physical, 65. Pass. Keep old moves. Do not learn Mega Drain. Thank you. All right, what are you sending out? Oh, wait. I've got to level up my, my sneeze. A two. When should I evolve? When should I evolve this? Cause razor, the razor claw is like. Nah. I don't need no quick attack. He'll already be the fastest one out there. <clears throat> Where do you get the razor claw in this game? Faint attack. Now that's a different story. We can maybe do faint attack instead of punishment. I'm gonna do faint attack instead of punishment. Um, where do you get the Razor Claw in this game? Let's find out. I hope the game's not too quiet now. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. If the game was too quiet now. How many levels are you gonna grow? I don't need Icy Wind. That's a, that's a special move. I definitely don't need that. Mr. Mime, it's a Psychic Z move. <gasps> Wait! If I predicted it's a Psychic Z move! Uh, 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 I wanna do it so bad! I want I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. YOLO! 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 YOLO, please! Oh, this is gonna be the, the best thing I've ever done. Oh! Okay. Um... I don't know what moves you're gonna have. I'm gonna switch to Curlia. You're not gonna predict me. You're not gonna predict me. Don't you predict me. Don't you dare predict me. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you. If you did. You did it! What are you using? Oh, shoot. Granted, it's not. I'm gonna say I can maybe take this. <clears throat> um, I think I can take this. It's not gonna do any damage right now until the reflect wears off like it just did. Um, this still isn't gonna do a lot. If I was you, I might skip forward in the video a little bit. Um, that that doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, and he has ref okay. Um, what should I do? I could just sit here and pound it out. Um, okay. I've got an idea. This is a, this is a pretty annoying battle. 
This is a pretty annoying battle. I would skip ahead in the video if I was if I was you. I would skip ahead in this video. Alright, we're gonna heal. Cause I, I think. Alright, here's my plan. Here's my plan. We're actually gonna click a certain move for the very first time. Are you gonna use light screen again? Oh, is it gonna work? Is it gonna work like I expected to? Oh. Woo! Nice. That was some brain power. Sneasel is about to grow for 15 minutes. He's about to sit here and grow forever. He he might be up to par already. Fury swipes, I'm good, pass. 17. 18. Oh, that's it? Okay. Nice, that was a good battle. Uh, it didn't take as long as it could have if I would have been stubborn. <laughs> nature power. All of that for nature power. For nature power. All right, so now that we're done with that battle, I've, I got something to talk about. And that is, the one thing that I'm concerned about in Pokemon Let's Go. The one thing. The one thing. If you've watched any of my videos about Pokemon Let's Go or where we talk about it, you know I'm extremely excited for Pokemon Let's Go. However, one thing that I noticed during the community day is that the way that Pokemon... Uh-oh. No, we already checked that. Swablu. I think we already checked that Swablu. We checked a Swablu. I don't know if it's that one. But the way that Pokemon dodge the Pokeballs and hit back at the Pokeballs is infuriating. It's a, what was that? I know I said I wasn't going to do this stuff, but like, I don't remember seeing this Mareep one before. So that's just, that's just me checking. Because I'm a master. I'm a master of this game. I claim to know everything. I claim to know everything, and I did not remember that there was a rival battle right here. Hey, Domino, how's it? I knew I heard your footsteps. You heard my footsteps, or you heard my Tauros' footsteps? Oh, you made me get off my Tauros. I just finished up Mato's trial and ate down every last bit of that super Mato special of hers. Boy, that was good enough to break the mouth. You heading to the Dimensional Research Lab? You just keep on going straight away this way. Maybe I'll catch you there. All right, we'll get back on Tauros now that we've been interrupted. <clears throat> anyway, the way that like, you know what I mean. If you've ever played Pokemon Go, you know, you spin the ball, you spin the ball and you throw it and the Pokemon at the perfect time dips its head back and hits the ball. And you're like, really? Again, with the same thing. All right, well, I just want to go to Hanna Grand Resort because I want my encounter. I already talked to you. I remember this. All right. Anyway, I'm not excited for Pokemon to do that. <clears throat> I have not done Lily's voice in a long time. Go, Nebby. You, you splash. <laughs> I was just acting like I was Domino. You, you always seem to get. You always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. Seeing that little, seeing that pain. Whoa. Seeing that, pay me just as much as if I was the one being hurt. But if I could become as strong as Hal and Domino are, then maybe things would be different. Uh, don't name me second. Thanks. Oh! Um, oh, Domino, hello! I feel like it's been a while since we last met. There, there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting, is made, what, waiting to meet you. How, how were your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. It was no problem. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of Akala Island's trials? I suppose that explains it. The reason you look so content and understood by Sneasel there, I mean. Oh, I was very confused. I guess she was confused too. All right, I'm pretty sure we've already grabbed an item. I know that that's there. I'm not grabbing those. I think it would be hilarious if I did a video. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. But how hilarious would a video be now of all 100 totem stickers? 
I think it'd be hilarious. Anyway, um, I, I know that in Let's Go, catching Pokemon is very similar to how you do it in Pokemon Go. So, you, I'm, I assume you're going to be able to spin the ball somehow and throw it. And it will, if the Pokemon is just like it is in, in Pokemon Go, I find these, these encounters much worse than, like, when you try and hit run on a Pokemon and it says couldn't get away. It, oh, it makes me so much more mad. <clears throat> hey there, honey. Oh, hi. Huh. This here is Professor Burnett. She, Burnett, excuse me. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah. And also, she's my wife. <laughs> You're a domino, right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the right, reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. Hmm? No how today? How? He's out doing his own thing. But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like old Holler before him. But you really think so? Whoa, ho! Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I really do. Uh, good to see you again, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Domino here because I wanted you to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a dimensional and unknown dimension. Different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There's also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Here's some Pokemon! Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are, be to, are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought uh, desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legend and folk tales. It's hard to know which, how much is true. But I'd be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelves in this lab. <clears throat> now that voice does not fit Burnett in the anime. <gasps> well, there's one. I am extremely upset by that. I am so upset by that. You have no idea. There's a book right there. I'm so upset that I just pulled a totem sticker. I'm so mad that I did that. Hmm. I might not save at the end of this episode. <clears throat> Again, if you want to know what all the stuff in here says, you should be watching my other playthrough uh, of Ultra Moon. Because the Ultra Moon is when I really, uh, Ultra Moon is when I went all in. Okay, why did the text randomly get, if you go back and look at that, the text randomly got blurry. Hey, Kukui, shut up. I only have to talk to one more person. <clears throat> you want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all, and then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. If you know Lily's history, you know that that's, uh, you know what she's trying to say. All right. How about that, Domino? If Ultra Beast is really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of college trials, all three of a college trials, woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia, the Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here on Akala, the Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Coney Coney City. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. Being able to go to more places really makes it feel like you're growing along with your partner Pokemon, huh? It's pretty great. 
Get me out of here. Dip! Peace! Pretty sure you can pick up... I don't know. I think there's something you pick up in there. If you talk to someone, maybe again. I don't know. But... All right. Let's get out of here. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right. We're just going to stroll out. Nothing's going to happen. <gasps> What's happening now? What is... What is this cuts? Oh, what is that? That's really not animated very well. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. That really was not very well animated. Hey, Domino! So you made it through all three child, three captain's trials, yeah? Then you, excuse me. Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Tigris Tunnel. Tigris Tunnel is. Let's see. From here is kind of near the PMC. It's easy to walk right past it though, so keep your eyes peeled. Now it's Malazada time for me! You know what time it is for me? I have a feeling it's time for me. There's no way. There's just no way. Can we fight? I have a pincer that hasn't been used in a while. And he really is upset that he hasn't been used in a while. He's also really upset that he's probably not going to get used in this next gym battle either, but... What's this? You have a Rotom Dex and you must be having a grand time with Festival Plaza. As soon as I saw him press Festival Plaza, I started pressing the B button. I was like, whatever you ask me, the answer is no. <laughs> what was that all about? Uh, hold on. I gotta channel her voice. Let's see if I can do it. Hmm. Oh, Domino, wasn't it? Hmm. This cave's really something, you know? It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they're getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So, how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Domino. Nice work. I see you've even passed Mallow's trial. It's about time you have some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down, too. If you're as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. Just, I'll see you there. So did that just do two events? I think it did. Encounter! This, it's, the music is really quiet to me. I don't like it. I don't like how quiet it is to me. I can turn it up, but then I just hear myself. Um, let's go... Well, you're gonna... Uh, you're not gonna hurt me, are you? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm a little scared. I don't know. It's really quiet for me. I hope it's not really quiet. If it is, again, it'll be fixed in the next episode. As soon as I noticed it was so high last time, we uh, changed it right away. Alright, let's catch this Dillet. Dilla dig, diggle dig, trio, trio. You know what? I hatched three of these. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hatched three of these within like three uh, within within six eggs. S three of them were diggle. All right, I can hear myself. I can hear myself like really bad. It's like it's playing with me. <clears throat> Let's catch the diggle. Let's um. We can one to trade now. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. I think we're going to make it through this cave today. Probably to the start of Coney Coney City. I think. I think we'll make it that far. Oh! I forgot I had this up. Uh, Tapu Village. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really not too far away. Oh, 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 almost. Stop it. So we get the razor claw. No! Whatever. Ah, <sighs> send to a box. Oh, you know what? Should I? Should I be a perfectionist? Should I be the perfectionist that I actually am? Should I act like the perfectionist that I actually am? Let's let's act like the perfectionist that I actually am. Wrong place. Oh, it's almost time to change clothes again. I'm 
pretty sure I have to have it in my party. No! Go in my box! Alright, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's just a diglet. That <laughs> does, it, it does. You know what? I'm just gonna trade it. I'm just gonna trade it and get it over with. I'm just gonna trade it and get it over with. We ain't gonna worry about it. Alright. Also, it's. Whoa! Let's try that again. Let's try that again. If it does it again, we're not gonna worry about it. We'll wonder trade in the next episode, but. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I was about to say, I was like, my internet's working just fine. Want to trade. We're going to want to trade these diglet. Quiet nature. The tangling hair. But yeah, it was actually really annoying. The other thing I hatched today is I finally hatched this thing. The day after I traded for it, I traded away one of my unknowns. I could have used that for something else. But I traded to a friend, so I'm not super upset about it. Can I get something good? I traded away something very, very rare, and in exchange, I got something very, very rare. You've been playing to Pokemon for 20 years? Me too! Crazy. Probably, uh, right about 20 years. Yeah, I guess, not, yeah, that sounds about right. Can you trade me something good? I'm sorry that mine is not good. You traded me a Mareep. I said it out loud because I want you to understand what you did. But, Mareep is not bad. I don't think I have a Mareep. Mar no Mareep confirmed. Alright, so we have a Mareep now. Which is actually not, it's really not bad. Because we've talked about it before, we don't have any electric types. Clothing made from Mareep's fleece is easily charged with static electricity, so a special process is used on it. Okay, sure. I'm going to assume this thing is like level 13. Level 1. Modest. It is bread. Okay. I see you. Thank you for the uh, modest. That's actually... That's not a terrible pickup. It's not a terrible pickup. And again, I'm, I'm sorry that I just traded you a, a, a diglet. A random diglet at that. Terrible person, I know. I'm a terrible person, I know. This might be the cave that repels come out. Yeah. Just might be the cave. This might just be the cave. Also, we're lower level, so I'm not even gonna put up a repel. Darn it. Alright, let's just hope that this isn't as annoying as it could be. See you, Mr. Trainer. I'm gonna come back and battle you in just a second. I think we should be able to make it through here. I knew there was a way to jump down here. I knew there was. I was questioning if I needed to come over here now, or if I could circle back through later, but it's too late for that. Anyway, I traded for this darn Kangaskhan, and then I got the darn Kangaskhan. What you got? You got a Diglett? Shield on? I can't do anything with that. But I have someone who can! Actually, I do have someone that can, but he's really high level. Um, you're not gonna rock move me. You won't rock move me. Taunt? Violent. Oh, okay. Alright, that, that's what you want? I mean, if that's what you want, I can brick break you. Oh, you sturdy jerk. Don't you do it! Okay. Nice. Nice recoil. Nice recoil. You tried. You tried. Give you good effort for that. Our Sneasel is already... I mean, depending on what we face, I might just let Sneasel do some work. Yeah. Depending on what we face, I might just let Sneasel go in. Do your thing, Sneasel. Right, I need to go this way first. Wait. Not enough space to call a ride Pokemon here. Sure. Sure thing. Okay. 
So, what do we... I think I remember who we battle in here. Spoilers, we do have a battle in here. I think I remember who it is. I think. I don't think it's Hal. We just fought Hal. Eh, it's been a while, I guess, since we fought Hal. Ooh, a Firestone! Nice! In our Pokemon Conquest Let's Play, we just had to defend a Firestone not too long ago. I'm pretty sure... I like not being on ride Pokemon when we come up to story things, um, just because it's it doesn't look right. And I like I like what we've got going on. I like our outfit. I am ready to change our outfit though. I am ready to change our outfit. I don't know what to. Uh, oh, there we go. Phew! With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. It seems like Team Skull is responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them all up to the surface. Oh, and Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck, stuck on or near the surface, though, so be careful. Do they know? Do those two in particular know? The heck is that sound? Oh, there are smoke clouds. Okay. I was totally sitting here thinking there weren't dust clouds in this game, and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. What would that possibly, what could that possibly be? Do Alolan Diglets have, oh, shiny chance. Eh. 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 Oh. I need more shiny minins. Um, do Alola and Diglett have Arena Trap? Oh, so you just up here, you just up here waiting for me? Dig a hole! This is not the night, the 1800s. You're not just gonna tell me what to do and expect me to do it, Worker Jeff. You know what, Worker, De Worker Jeff? You asked for this. Worker Jeff, you get to be the first to see the pow- Uh, that's not gonna work out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I need to check something. I need to check something. Wait, I shouldn't have clicked on that. I know exactly where that leads. Hold on, hold on. Oh, ground steel, darn it. All right, um, never mind. I'm gonna switch, let's get, let's see if we can get Curly as some, some exper, exp experience. <clears throat> What you got? I know you have that. What move do you have? Bulldoze? Okay. Okay. Understood. Understood. But ground is not super effective against bug. Perfect. In fact, it resists. Am I still? Oh no, my speed fell. You're gonna outspeed me, but that's fine. Sucker Punch? If you would have Sucker Punched my Curlia, I would have been so mad. I don't care. Tangling, what's, hey, what, what's that going to do to me? I'm a, I'm a pincer. Whoa. I don't think you can hear it, but I can hear all these little bitty details that my microphone is picking up. Like, I can hear it move. I can hear my microphone move. But I don't think you can hear it. Because it's really, really magnified. If you can, let me know. This is just, just information for me. Just information for me. If there was a hole around here, I'd want to crawl into it. I want to dig a hole and hide. Yeah, dig a hole! Acting like it's the 1800s over here telling me what to do. Thinking he can just get away with it. Actually, he probably could just get away with it. He just called the police. They'd be on his side. But that's a different story. The joke, don't let that offend you. If that offended you, 
I don't know what to say. I'm not sorry, but... No, if that offended you... No, never mind. Let's not. Let's, let's not. Let, let's just... Let's just choose not. Oh! Okay, I'm not doing it. Ah! That exact same thing, I'm pretty sure, happened in our Ultra Moon playthrough. I'm pretty sure we started to walk down there. We said, oh no, I'm not going to do that. We turned around and ran into a Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure we had a difficult battle up here. I don't remember. Man, it was only a year ago. I'm standing right next to you, bro. Work through brute force doesn't go well. You are absolutely correct. No, 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 no. Brute force is not how you get anything done. You need to work with the people that you're working with. Are you gonna are you gonna rock move me? And am I weak to that? I kinda wanna ice shard. I kinda wanna ice shard. I kinda wanna ice shard, but I don't what does Arching get? Should I be looking this up? This isn't cheating. Whatever. Uh, he does get Rock Throw. So he probably has Rock Throw. He probably has Ancient Power. Peace! We are out of here. Um, he probably has Ancient Power. Agility? Oh, he was getting ready. He was getting ready. He was like, hey, it's fine. You can do what you want. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to go for Leaf Tornado. Okay. Yeah, I need this AI to be better. I need this AI to be a little better. Accuracy fail. You ain't touching me. Bet. 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 Called it. Oh. Just look down, touch my phone, and encounter the Pokemon. Sneasel grows to level 20 and also wants to learn agility. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need no agility. We fast enough. All right. Oh! That's not exactly what I remember. Ah, oh, no way. Just when things were starting to get heat to heat up, yo, I get surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. Yo, when can, since when can Diglett use beat up? I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be in here right now. Dab it oh. Oh, I was wondering who you were playing with the, around, playing around without me, and it's Team Skull. You want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. I mean, if you're trying, if you're trying to get smacked up. I'm leaving Sneasel in. Sneasel can handle these people. Oh! That art. That art looks so good. Hmm. So land it. Cannot stay out. Unfortunately, I cannot stay out. That's all the time I've got. It's time to play some Curry. That's all the time I've got for today. You. Oop. Damn, it did a lot. Damn, it did a lot. Damn, you paralyzed me. A jerk. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Oh. Let's knock out this Slandit. Evie, you are dumb. Evie, you are dumb. You are big dumb. Oh, that's super effective. Mistakes were made between us two. That's an Akon song from back in the day. Draining Kiss. Eh, I feel like with this army voice a little better. This army voice is 40. Draining Kiss is 50. Let's switch it out. What was I thinking of? I was thinking of a much better move. I'm gonna go for it. We'll be fine. I'm gonna go for it, we'll be fine. I'm gonna go for it, we'll be fine. That moves. Can you imagine if that bite was directed at me? I would have lost my mind. <laughs> I would have lost my mind. 
Are we headed to the grave, yo? Will our bones be laid bare, yo? The gloom that enfolds us like fog, we can't seem to shake it off. I don't get that. What? Yo, step off! Evil, enough with the beating up, yo! We not be trying. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as bone out here. See you on the flip side, man, Domino. When I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I've just gotta give you something. Can you imagine just being in that moment, like, oh my gosh, hit. Uh, what do I got? What do I got? Uh, where's my bag? Where's my bag? Oh. Have this! Max Ether! Max Ether will be strong. Oh, that was a way of telling me to use Roto. No, leave me alone. Now I'm gonna go have some more fun with those Diglets. See ya! Peace! We are not gonna go have fun with them. Another one. Oh, I hate this stupid character! Hold on. Let me move this. Can I move this forward any? Okay. Oh! A trial going trainer? Are you are? Looker is my name. I travel the world and many lands do I visit for. My own private reasons. Alola is a nice place and so very peaceful. Most ideal for a vacancy. I was just in Kony Kony City where I am a and most unusual stone at Miss Olivia Shop. No one here is so terribly as uh no one here is so terrible as to try and create a new world or liberate all Pokemon from their trainers. Yes, peaceful indeed. Hold on, I gotta push the microphone away. Um I like how he acknowledges Lysander's thing about liberating Pokemon. But it's like the Pokemon Company forgot that ever happened because we've only gotten one Gen 6 Pokemon game and there's stuff that's missing. How come I can't go in the power plant? Why is it locked? Why do we never get a key? Also, have you ever heard of South Kalos? Yeah, neither had I until I saw someone tweet about it and I looked it up. You should look it up. There is a map. There is a map of Kalos out there. And it shows clouds covering the bottom of Kalos. You remember Kalos is like Paris. It kind of looks like a star, if I'm remembering right. If I'm not, whatever. You get the you get the idea, okay? Yes, it does look like a star because it's all centered around uh, the, 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 the Lumio City, okay? South Kalos. I wish, because I'm such a Pokemon fanboy, I wish that I could be an like an internal Pokemon Company employee so I could see all of the plans that were to be that got scrapped. Because that's a whole nother half of a region, I would imagine. Just like Johto Kanto, you remember those rumors? You remember the rumors that Kalos would have two regions and that the third version, we would be going back to that? That's South Kalos, the power plant. Volcanion, Volcanion, literally supposed to be in the desert power plant. Literally, you were, I think you were supposed to get a key and go into there and you would find him. Nothing. But here they at least remembered it. Let's continue on. Sorry for hitting the mic. So, concerns I have about those reported sightings of the infamous Pokemon Mafia. Ah, forgive me for keeping you. I will give you this Thunderstone if you'll forgive my rudeness. I brought, bought, bought three without thinking. Do have a good adventure, my. Try going on trainer friend. So now I'm all mad. You know, Kalos is one of the best regions. It really is. Kalos really is one of the best regions. I'm gonna slide around you. Um, I don't want to go in. Kalos really is one of the best regions. Period. Period. 
Shall we do one more trainer or should we wrap up? One more trainer or wrap up. One more trainer or wrap up. One more trainer or wrap up. I'm kind of feeling wrap up. I'm kind of feeling wrap up. I want to leave on that note. So there's two things that you can comment below. First off, if you enjoyed today's episode of Ultra Sun, hit the thumbs up. That's the first thing. Second thing, leave me a comment. How was your Pokemon Go community day? Did you get to participate? Did you get any shinies? How many? Et cetera, et cetera. And then let me know what you think about Kalos. Oh, it makes me so mad thinking about it. But anyway, in the next episode, we will do... We got two encounters right here. We got Route 8. Uh, Route 8? Is that where I am? No, Route 9. Route 9. We got Route 9, and then we have the... I don't think I can get an encounter in Coney Coney. The route to the right is, there's a name for it. I'm gonna remember as soon as the episode's over. But we'll get those, we'll get at least two encounters, we'll do two trades in the next episode. Uh, if you enjoyed, again, hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment, we will see you in the next episode. Before I end, thank you so, 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 so much. If you, especially if you made it all the way to the end of the video, like, shout out to you, you the real MVP. We'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a blessed day.